Racism. A problem that has plagued mankind since the first time a white man kidnapped a black man and made him do his work for him and never paid him for it. Slavery. A bad business decision. You white dudes just had everything you wanted, all the pussy, all the black pussy y'all wanted. Y'all worked the men like dogs. Yeah, yeah, y'all had it good. And we was like not getting nothing but work the damn death. You could have made a lot of money on slavery. Yeah. And when I say you, I mean America. This is a capitalist society. It is silly to just bring thousands of people to this country without money. And they're not spending any money, and they're getting everything for free. And that's bad business. Did abolishing slavery abolish discriminating? No sorry, Bob. It put a mask of equality on its face so it could ride around on horses and light crosses on fire in black people's yards and sometimes even hang those black people. I would say the KKK had some brilliant ideas as far as advertising goes, but they were just bad at the execution. If the KKK wants someone to leave, they don't want you in their town, okay? They can, they're burning a cross in your, in your yard, but they're not giving you any option of any other place to go. So why not burn a, a picture of Tahiti, right? They see a picture of Tahiti and how it's a tropical paradise, and maybe they want to go there. I would, I would get my brothers, right, and we would start our own anti-KKK thing. We'd be wearing black robes, and we'd be terrorizing the um, shit out of them. And what is the KKK afraid of? Giant black people. So I would sell giant black robots to black people. Have like giant black robots that just fuck the KKK up. I like that shit. And that would get rid of the KKK. And what about the ever controversial word that rhymes with Tigger? If you was to say the word nigger to me, that would get you robbed and beaten up. When you say the word nigga, that would get you robbed and beaten up and shaken. Now, when you use the word nizzle, now I'm thinking you just trying to be funny. So I would rob, shake you, beat your ass, rape you, and kill you. I'll tell you what Niz Nasty will get you. Now get to wear your clothes and pretend that I'm you. I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to say that. But have you ready? I, don't want, I wouldn't want to say nigger. Wow. I don't want to say nigger. What, now, what are you pushing for, like, to get raped? I, don't want, I wouldn't want to say nigger. You want me to rape you? You want me to pull out my big black and fuck you up? The That's what you really want, ain't it? And I'll shake your ass. Like, ha, 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 yeah, motherfucker. Yeah, ha. So I say to you, my friends, when the fires of racial tension heat up, use that heat to cook up some love. Then take some of that boiling hot love grease and dollop it right into your racist eyeballs and make those retinas burn till you can't see color any longer. Because there are no white people and there are no black people, just people, a smaller part of a larger living organism called Earth. And since every living thing is connected, if we damage the existence of one group of us, then we damage every one of us. We are one.